This is a file I've put together to demonstrate um, some of the features of the manipulator tool. I realize I've already covered it in the basic intro, but there's a few extra things and some of you might not want to sit through the whole intro. Uh, the manipulator tool is this box here that shows up when you have a piece selected. It has several interesting features. One thing you can do with it is to um, flip things. So if you select a character, and you drag this button all the way across, it will flip the thing in that direction. I could also do it upside down if I wanted to. Um, another thing you can do is scale the piece. Now you can scale in both directions or in only one direction. You can also skew the piece and you can rotate it. So between those three, three, three things you can really change a lot of pieces and sort of tweak them to make them fit different scenarios. Another very interesting feature of the manipulator tool is this little white dot in the middle and not everyone realizes it but if you move that dot it changes the point at which um, the manipulator tool rotates the piece. So if I leave it in the center here it's going to rotate around the middle like that. If I pull this dot out the manipulator tool will then make the piece rotate around that dot like this. That can be very handy for example if you want to make this into a, a say you wanted this to be a flower. So let's duplicate that piece several times. I'm just going to stack them on top of each other to make them a little easier to position. Okay. Now I can drag those to the to the center point I want them to rotate around. And just go like that. This is I know this may not seem crazy, but if you've tried to position something in a way that's this exact, it's actually quite difficult to do and moving that little dot saves a lot of time. and you'll notice it remembers where you had the dot for each piece. So there you go, those are the main ways to use the manipulator tool.